Okay, so today I wanted to kind of do a little bit of um, explanation on what you're kind of looking for if you have been wanting to maybe get into a direct sales company or if like an MLM or um, some kind of side business of your own maybe um, that you wanted to start on your own or whatever it may be. I feel like the times have changed so much in the sense that when I first started looking, when I was wanting to stay home with my kids, um, even though that was just like almost six years ago, there wasn't a lot out there. And what there was was Mary Kay, which had been around for a long time. And I had seen some It Works stuff. But as far as working from your phone, um, it was hard for me to find anything that seemed legit or wasn't going to cost me a lot of money to get in. So, things have definitely changed since then. <laughs> I mean, I started my first direct sales company in 2017. And um, I have learned so much from it. I've grown as a person from it. Um, just become obsessed with the company and the products. And it just, it was a good place for me to start and a good foundation for me to, to figure out what I it was just a good foundation for me to figure out where I wanted to go with it. it like I said, it taught me so much. Um, so, it also helped me realize that it is possible, even though there are negative things about being in um, direct sales. Just don't listen to those because that, like most of the time, those people don't pay your bills. I learned that too. Um, that these are really things that could change your life if you're willing to put in the work. So, a few things um, to think about is when you start in a business, it, it does become yours. Um, you have to work it like a business to get paid like a business. If you work it like a hobby, it's only going to pay you like a hobby. And if that's where you're at with it, that's okay. Like, I want to meet people where they're at if they just want to do it for themselves for fun or just to earn some free products or whatever it is. Like, I'm willing to meet them there. And um, we have to love everyone where they're at, right? But, um, to really change your life and to, to set those goals and dreams that you want, you have to work it um, on a daily basis. And um, you have to put the time and the effort into it. And so when you're looking for something, you want to find something that you think will interest you, obviously, because you're not going to be passionate about it if, if it doesn't. And even though it like even if it seems interesting and you and you kind of are like hesitant about it just know that you could always learn um I had people in the one that I was in um when I started that didn't know anything about like as far as like what they they could do the products but if you're willing to learn like you can learn and have all the knowledge that you need to be successful if you're willing to learn so don't ever let something scare you and not try because you don't know about the product because that's what a good leader is for a mentor is for there's always gonna if you have a good company there's going to be trainings to help you so even if you think it may seem interesting and you just feel like you don't want to do it don't fall back on the fact that you, you're like, well, I don't know anything about that because you can learn. You can learn. So, I um, when I started in makeup, I was, I'm not an expert. I, um, I love makeup. I loved, uh, I've always loved makeup. But I just decided to go for it and um, just see where it would take me. And with that being said, it really was important to me about the company, what was in the products. So ingredients matter to me. If you just look at what goes into like hair care or makeup or skincare or your cleaning products, some a lot of the stuff is just not good for us. And we just really didn't know for so long, honestly, because it just wasn't, of course, it's not gonna be put out there, right? So, this, you know, look, if, if ingredients are important to you in what you're representing, definitely look into them. Um, like the U.S. only bans 13. Uh, Europe bans, 
um, 1300. So it's a big difference. Um, so I was looking for good quality ingredients and, um, I needed something affordable where I felt like, um, people could afford it and they wouldn't feel like they they were breaking their budget. So that was a couple of things I was looking for. Good ingredients, a quality product, but at affordable price. And that's rare. <laughs> So I was looking for something good, but something that was affordable. Um, you do want to look at their compensation plan. Some people don't care about the compensation plan. Um, but if that's something that important to you, you want to look at the compensation plan, have that explained to you. Um, you want to look at the company as a whole. Like, do you feel like you can represent them um, and feel comfortable representing them? And you, you know, just, just follow someone. Like if you're interested in something, just follow them and see if you feel like maybe that could be something for you and you can become a part of, and, um, your leaders are going to matter. Um, having a team to support you is going to matter. And that's what really drawn me to keep pursuing direct sales is because I love the, um, idea of being a leader and helping other people be successful. That was, that's really huge to me. So just, I feel like being in this type of business, you can dream so big and you can work so hard to achieve those dreams and, and never just give up, like just be consistent. Um, things have changed so much. I mean, TikTok was not a thing when I started stories and Instagram and Facebook were not a thing when I started. Um, you can evolve and learn new things. I still haven't got TikTok down. Um, I honestly don't even have it. <laughs> I know crazy, but I don't, um, I have some reservations with it, but that doesn't mean that there aren't other ways to, um, expand your network. So wherever you're at is where I want to meet you at. So if you're ever been thinking about looking into something like this, like, um, I'm an open book about it. I, um, I feel like there's always room to grow. There's always room to learn. And um, like I said, I just, you know, I learned how to use stories and, um, I learned how to make my videos better and I'm still learning how to do that. Like there's always room for improvement, but the important thing is, is people are going to purchase from you if they, um, like, know, and trust you. So you just kind of want to put yourself out there in a sense that they need to get to know you and not the fake you. Like they need to know the real genuine person that you are so they can gain that trust. They can start to follow you and you can expand your network and your business. So one thing that I've learned is that you need to be 80% of your life, what you do, what you like. And then 20% of your business. Don't flood everything with your business because that's what people are just going to see and they're not going to get to know you. Um, that was just an important tip that, that I learned. But I have, I, I truly believe I have the, um, the, the drive and the want to show other people what I have learned and how you can be successful in businesses that um, are MLMs, direct sales, whatever you want to call it. So, anyways, just find something that you think that you'll be interested in, that you can grow a passion for, if this is something you're looking for, and just literally just go all in. Like, you can totally do this. 